that's all the rules. We're going to go straight into the first topic. And this will be intro period, so no interrupt to anybody else as this topic is talked about uh, for intros. Number one, does the media have a left-wing bias and are Trump's attacks on it fair? I'll repeat it one more time for the people in the back. Does the media have a left-wing bias and are Trump's attacks on it fair? I'm going to start as always, in the left-hand corner with, hey, it's Vadim. You have one minute. Okay, um, I, I'm just going to briefly say uh, that I think that the uh, le- that the media is, because I had so much planned, and I realize I can say a small amount in a small, uh, small time, um, that the media is uh, not actually as left-wing as people think. I'm going to elaborate on that later. I'm just going to go to the Trump question. Um, 95% uh, more of the time, uh, 95% or more of the time, are the attacks on him fair? uh, Absolutely. Um, Or rather, are his attacks fair? No, no, absolutely not. We're talking about a president who has the uncanny knack to literally lie three or four times in a sentence. Uh, This man's lies are legendary. Um, Everything from busloads of illegals or committing voter fraud to windmills cause cancer. I could go on and on. There's way crazier stuff than that. So, of course, the media is going to call him out on these things. He's very much an enemy of the free press. He's made numerous incendiary comments about it. Uh, I'm no big fan of of lamestream uh, or mainstream media, but, you know, he's he's, uh, said that the rights... Um, I'm sorry, I'm losing my, see, I have notes here. Um, he, he, he's, um, uh, talked about opening up libel laws. He has, uh, tried to have former chief, his former chief of staff look into how they could do that. He's, um, tried to, uh, also sue Bill Maher over orangutan jokes. So the reason why I point that out is because it's the reason why he wants to, uh, open libel laws is to create fr- frivolous lawsuits. He's blacklisted plenty of reporters and entire outlets from events. He demands reporters to be fired simply for, t- or, or he has demanded that a reporter get fired simply for tweeting an, an, an inaccurate number of attendees at his rallies. Uh, I mean, I'll just uh, end by saying, you know, he's the alternative facts president. It's dangerous. It's the reason why batshit QAnon conspiracy doofuses continue to take hold within the conservative party. And, uh, you know, he, his his whole tactic with attacking the media is just to obfusc- obfuscate the truth, to take pressure and uh, just worthwhile criticism off of him. He's the fake news pre- president and uh, it's done tremendous damage. Okay, next I'm gonna throw it over to Suspect Sushi. I didn't expect to be called so quickly. All right, hold on. Let me just let me just fix my camera here, Dylan. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. All right. Anyway, so about how the media has an obvious leftist bias towards Donald J. Trump. Okay, the fact of the matter is, like over 95 percent of all stories created by Donald Trump, definitely, definitely fake news. Um, Donald Trump is the great savior of the nation. Okay, Biden is going to destroy and burn down this nation 1,000 percent. And is his attacks on the media absolutely wholeheartedly warranted? I agree with that one 100 percent. The news media are a enemy of the people and Donald Trump is representing us and trying to fight for our rights and liberties. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Okay, and next I'm going to throw it over to the Turk. Yeah, so the media is a really large group. I think all media are kind of leaning one way or the other. You know, Republicans are guilty of it, just as the far left. Um, I've got a lot of data that suggests that, yes, there is a definite left-leaning bias, and um, it's not good data, so uh, y- y'all don't want to hear it. But uh, I just think that uh, Trump's reaction towards it, I think, is not in good taste. You know, if you're a modest person, you'd think his stuff he says is pretty bad. But it is effective. It's bringing awareness to his cause, and it's really opening up the eyes of a lot of people that would sometimes just glaze past what mainstream media does. Hey, next I'm going to throw it over to Pisco. Sure, thank you. Uh, on the first sub question, I think it's important to set aside like some threshold questions. One is, what is the media? I sort of consider the media to be a they, not an it. It's hard to speak about the media as though it has one conscious impulse uh, when it's uh, you know numerous individuals and numerous reporters and numerous positions. Um, so. I would like to hear more clarity on the part of people who are accusing the media of having liberal divides of what they consider the legal, uh, the media to be. Next um, threshold question is, what is a left-wing bias? If that means a bias in favor of left-wingers, 
and of like socialists and communists, I think it couldn't be further from the from the truth. In fact, I think a lot of you'll find a lot of um, common ground with socialists and leftists who say the media hates Bernie Sanders and they're not going to platform our people. So I, I think you should be clear about um, the kind of left wing bias that you're alleging. Um, in general, I think the bias probably is more towards sensationalism and profits than it is necessarily any given political ideology. Next, I, I want to posit the fact, maybe it'll be controversial, that it's not hard to seem that you have a Democrat bias in this country when so much ridiculous shit is coming out of this administration. I think um, Hey, It's Vadim talked about that a little bit with respect to things that are directly on point on free speech. See, for instance, libel laws. See, for instance... Um, what he has to say about any given substantive topic, uh, whether it be immigration or the nature of our democracy. These are, I think, largely unpopular, un, um, sort of, what's the word, not mainstream opinions that we might not peacefully hand over power. So things like that, it's hard to appear to have a sort of straight and narrow uh, approach. I also want to attack the notion that there could ever be a media free from bias. What does that even look like? Just the framing of certain stories, the selection of some stories over others is in some sense an editorial decision. So I reject the notion that there's some objective um, sort of point to reach in which all our media will be unbiased. And on the merits of the, uh, of the actual question, I think Fox News, Sinclair Broadcasters, among others, these are mainstream media sources, and they're largely Republican. So I, you know, I question, I think the, the burden of proof is on people alleging a bias to prove it. And of course, I think not much more has to be said about Trump's attack on the media. They're dangerous and I think fairly uns unsubstantiated. Uh, thank you. Okay, next I'm going to throw it over to Drone Tech Politics. Okay, uh, can you guys hear me? So um, there's a lot of smart people here. You guys are intimidating, but I'll do my best here, especially since I'm the media guy. Um, there's a lot to respond to here too. Um, I, I definitely think the, I agree with a lot of you that say that it's kind of hard to quantify what the media is. I would when I talk about it, I'm talking about network <laughs> and cable news media um, and Hollywood, too, to some extent. But um, I mean, that definitely leans Democrat bias. I don't know about left wing. I think that the, the media uses the left, the far left, the communists, the socialists and all these guys, especially more recently with. You know, Antifa and, you know, these are a whole separate debates, but BLM and all this uh, running cover for them as I see it and holding them to standards that they don't hold the other side to. And this, there's a long history of this long pattern of it going back to really the Clinton years, I, I think. For, well, you can go back to George W. Bush the first and, and kind of track it. But uh, there's a definite bias there. I, could, I mean, there's tons of studies, lots of data um, as far as. Um, I just kind of want to address a couple of things here. How much time do I have? You've got like, I let people go over a little bit. I'll, I'll, <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll give you like a minute 30. Okay. So um, the, the claim that is for profits, you know, I don't necessarily buy that because, and, and you're right that there's definitely right leaning Republican media out there more of it now than there, there has been in the past as far as like OAN and stuff, which I don't really watch any of it, but um, <laughs> those are the ones that are doing really well. If these other ones uh, wanted to really compete with Fox, they would, they would just take on the mantra. But, I, you know, I agree that both sides are doing it. Um, as far as rationalizing media bias, saying, oh, it's it's because Trump's so crazy. Well, you know, Trump's kind of a result of this stuff building up over a long time. And so, uh, you know, the media, now all you're doing is going, oh, well. Um, you, uh, drone tech, you're, you're having audio problems. You're really breaking up. It's being attacked by drones. Uh, <laughs> that's it. it. It's the media. Yeah. If you want drone, I'll go to somebody else and then come back to you. Is that okay? Okay. Uh, Brenton, <laughs> come come to me now. Don't break up. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how much you guys heard before, but uh, I'm a former activist with Occupy Wall Street, and I can tell you beyond the shadow of a doubt that the media does not have a leftist bias. In fact, uh, before uh, Mayor Bloomberg sent his stormtroopers in to clear Zuccotti Park and uh, sent out, like, freaking helicopter police helicopters in the air to prevent coverage from the air um he reached out to the head of the new york times the liberal new york times and it got the assurance that they would take his side in this before he acted that is on record um similarly we can only see the media's response to bernie sanders um over and over again the media there are certain they appeal to certain audiences and demographics and they serve uh capitalist profits 
Uh, so what you have essentially is you have a very large right wing media, which came out recently just during the Bush years with Fox News, uh, Breitbart, um, OAN has been mentioned. You also have more traditional media that kind of leans establishment liberal, but they tend to be very buttoned down. They hate, uh, for instance, um, Antifa for the most part. And if you go and you look at articles about Antifa, there's a great uh, article, a great video uh, by Cody Johnston on how to actually cover stories about Antifa. And you will see the anti-Antifa bias and the pro-fascist bias, even in the so-called liberal media. So um, I would say overall, you know, when you've got Chris Hayes freaking out and thinking that there's going to be uh, French Revolution socialist style executions in Central Park if freaking Bernie Sanders wins the president. Bernie Sanders would be a centrist in any other country in Europe. Suddenly he's our, he's going to bring the revolution. It's absolutely ridiculous. And it's a lie that the conservatives constantly put out because people in this position, especially if they're more fascist inclined in their thinking, tend to project. Um, that is a, a documented part of fascist psychology. And a lot of these people are founded by oil billionaires. You've got stuff like Prager U. Uh, you've got stuff like Ben Shapiro. You've got um, uh, classically Abby being forced on everyone on YouTube because of millions of dollars of oil money that have been pushed into that. So it, is the media left wing? The only left leaning sources that you can really find in the media is maybe The Intercept and maybe Democracy Now. That's about it. And both of those are pretty mild. Um, and then like, if we want to say are Trump's attacks on the media fair, I mean, Trump is a monster, so I don't care if his attacks on the media are fair. Um, I would say overall that, um, he should be, uh, brought down by any means necessary. Uh, let me preface that by any means, both just and necessary. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up and throw it over to drone tech. Right. Thank you. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Now. I'll be Sounds quick. Like um, so most of the, pretty much all the anchors in the mainstream media minus Fox are former Democrat politicians. Um, you guys are right about the attacks on Bernie. But I mean, if and it's funny when they were attacking Bernie for for uh, promoting uh, Fidel Castro's literacy program, several people in the media had done that when Fidel Castro died. So there's lots of these. There are lots of far left wingers in the media that don't necessarily they attack Bernie Sanders because they don't see that as the quickest way to their political agenda but i mean they that's definitely ultimately what they want i mean they may be, maybe bernie's just not the candidate i, I got some bad news you're for breaking you up you're again. breaking, you're breaking up, again. up again yeah i don't know what's going on man um i'm gonna go to polar i'm gonna go to ipa uh and we'll, we'll come back to you one more time uh we'll see what happens okay okay uh throw <clears> it over to polar I think when we talk about the media, it is really interesting to hear what people mean. Is it the fact that there are a lot of leftists or left-leaning people in media? Is it the stories that they put out? Is it the content that they create? I think that's a very interesting distinction, and we can go down that road and actually see what's going on, right? We have platforms and media platforms like radio, heavily conservative, YouTube, which is getting even more and more conservative, but we do have some left-leaning people on now, and even me like even generalized news. It's not as left as most people think, and I'd love to go into that. But I think what's really funny is that there's a lot of irony when it comes to Trump criticizing the media, right? Because a major right-wing critique of media, and like this is a thing with all types of like media, is that people will always be like, you should get your news from multiple places. You should do this, this, and this. Uh, but then when Trump criticizes the media, most people don't realize that indirectly, he's now the source of the majority of a lot of people's news. So what he says goes. And there's a lot of harm in that. We saw that in the past year with coronavirus. People are more and more skeptical of the news due to his attacks. And as a result, we have so much misinformation. People are especially after uh, i don't care especially after that inject bleach quote okay that was really cringe i have to be <laughs> honest that. he didn't say that well well but inherently no, yeah, no, yeah. no no interruption no interruption is allowed but even if he did directly say that that's really important the effect that it had on the people is what matters it's not the words that he individually says but the effect that it has on the individuals sure. and people in society some individuals called um, for example, um, like like chemical hotlines and like reported that they had done this and were fearful to say that Trump's attacks are, I guess would say valid is only one aspect of it. The fact that his attacks have created a kind of center on him for news is really disgusting and is kind of authoritarian to a certain aspect. I'm going to give it to IPA and then I'm going to give drone check uh, one more time uh, afterwards to see if I can get him an intro statement uh, and then we're going to go straight into it. So IPA, your turn. 
All right. So even in my opening statement, I'm going to be the dirty centrist and attack both sides immediately. Uh, according to Pew Research, 73% of the, the population that they polled, uh, which Pew Research is known for doing pretty unbiased research, um, says that they agree that the media should be acting as watchdogs. Uh, however, they did note how harshly that the people polled view how how uh, the media is portraying uh, the both the left and the right depended greatly upon their news sources and their political leanings. Um, and I have that study up and we can certainly talk about it if people want to see that. Uh, but so just keep that in mind as we're as we're having this discussion, where people get their news from and what their political leanings are, are greatly going to shade this conversation, um, even according to their research. So um, does the media have a bias? Yes, but I don't think it's specifically just the left side. It's absolutely both sides, like a couple of people have mentioned. Um <clears throat> But I expect that's going to happen when you have like eight companies that control all of the media in this entire country, right? Um, in the 1950s, it was more like 50 companies, okay? Now it's like eight. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess, you know, I'm not real shocked by that at all. So uh, are, Trump's are Trump's attacks warranted um, on the media? On principle, yes. When you get things wrong uh, and you mischaracterize the president, <laughs> yes, absolutely. He has a right to respond to those things. Um is he responding in, in even more absurd and outlandish things sometimes? Yes, he absolutely is. So, Okay, uh, now I'm going to bring it back to Drone Tech for one more shot at that intro one statement. Shot. I apologize to everybody. I know everybody wants to get in here. I just want to say one more thing. Um, as far as Trump's attacks on the media, I think that Trump takes it too far sometimes. I think, like, outright saying enemy of the people, although I personally have a, a thought that for a long time, I think that's, as a president, that he shouldn't do that. But our media is deeply corrupt and I think Trump is right to call them out. And I think all I, I stopped, you know, I watch it for my channel, but that's it. You know, I used to hate watch it and enjoy it. And so, to some degree, Fox News, I'd watch CNN, all of it. But uh, it's poison, obviously. And uh, um, so I think Trump's attacks are right. Do I think he goes about the right way? Not necessarily. But I mean, go back to Obama. Now, I don't, it's, this isn't a whataboutism, but Obama kind of set the stage for attacking media. The media was largely in, his, in the tank for him. I mean, I went through the Bush years and they, you know, especially after the Iraq war, they were very anti-Bush. And then literally the day that Obama was elected, they're very pro-Obama and spinning every everything positively for Obama. And he went after Fox hard. He got Anita Dunn in there and they had the war on Fox. And so and there's a lot more involved in that. And you all probably know about it. But so, you know, that you guys love that guy. So, I mean, he started all this. And so that, that's pretty I much hate it. Obama. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I mean, we probably agree on more of this than you, than you think, but uh, I definitely think, and we can. I, I'm I'm looking forward to going around on this, but uh, it's definitely got a Democrat Party bias. I, I mean, they are basically the Joe Biden campaign at this point, and that's okay. my closing. Okay, now it is free and open dialogue. You may engage freely. Just try to be um, try to be productive. What do you mean Obama started it all? What does that mean? Well, he started uh, making attacks on the media more like mainstream there had been attacks on the media there have been for a long time but he had he brought anita dunn into the white house and they literally called it the war on fox news okay so and, they, and she would go out all regularly and say oh they're the arm of the republican party and they're just lying and they're probably they are i mean okay, they but, are the okay but the, the network are, she's on okay but the network she's on arm. is doing it for the democrat party they're they're, so, they're not only an arm of the uh, Republican Party, but they're basically like a propaganda machine for the uh, Republican Party. So I just want to say just real quickly, um, if you could do me a solid, Dylan, and not come to me first for the questions because I overprepared my opening statements and it'll take me a little while to uh, kind of parse through my my uh, my notes and whatnot. No and problem. Kind of formulate no problem. What I'm going to say, um, but I'll, I'll just hop in and say real quickly that I think that. In a superficial sense, um, there are certain ways that the overwhelming majority of what people think of as the mainstream media is, in a, in a superficial sense, uh, left wing. But I'd argue that it's far more centrist in many other ways than most conservatives, conservatives admit or recognize. For instance, um, you, you know, because they are desperate for conservative viewers, and this manifests itself in so many different ways. For instance, most of the time, if CNN or MSNBC is hosting a climate change discussion, they're going to have uh, a climatologist up against 
some climate change denier who uh, has no business being there because they're just spewing absolute bullshit. Most of these people are also paid by special interests and whatnot. We could get into that, but those motherfuckers, they just have no decent reason to be there because they're peddling absolute BS. And there's other examples of that. Uh, the last thing I'll say, just because I want to hand it over to other people, is that, I mean, this has been going on for a very long time. We all remember what occurred during uh, the Iraq war. Every Well, most people knew that, or at least most informed people knew, that the weapons of mass destruction thing was all a smokescreen, that it was largely bullshit. And there were some key people in the media who kind of spoke out about it. Some people lost their jobs because they spoke out too much about it. And, and they should have been kind of sounding the alarm bells on that war. And that just didn't happen. If the media was truly as left wing oh, as many people would like to say it is, there would have been so much more opposition to the war before it started. And that whole quagmire clusterfuck went into, uh, you know, went ahead. Um, I think, uh, that I think means, oh, I'm hearing feedback from someone, but um, I think the Dean brings up a really good point when it comes to objectivity versus neutrality. I think a lot of people expect us to have this like whole idea of like both sides in the media, even when one side is completely wrong. That's not a good way to approach, I think, any form of like, um, like public interpretation of news, such as like, I don't want to necessarily see like a flat earther versus a, a round earther on TV and, and give credibility to both of them as if they're equal standings. That's a really important aspect. Do you think Democrats are just naturally correct? No. Well, it's hard to like top it because they're never. Right? Yeah. When is the media like, no, ever wait, 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 Black, I, that was that was a question directed specifically at Polar, so I wanted yeah. to give Polar an opportunity to respond. Polar. I, no, I don't necessarily think the Democrats are always right. Can you give me an they, example recently of the media like being critical of a Democrat's policy you, you or wanna, idea? You, you want to give me one? I mean, what we already mentioned, the media is not a conglomerate. Would you like to? You said that you watch a lot of news. Would you like to give me one? No, I, there is none. There's wait, not the a media single media example. Not I can think of. news what? is the media. No, I don't watch Fox. I watch more. It's, I don't watch Fox. Yeah, we already well, mentioned my channel. I don't watch Fox. Fox News is the media. They're heavily critical of Democrats. Right. I am totally, right. I am not arguing with about Fox. They are just as corrupt. I'm not. That's not my argument. I, I think I can answer your question, Drone Tech. I mean, I if you're I a very looking, specific it, question though, very specific. Well, well Name I one mean, single it, policy or scandal or anything for, that the media was critical of Democrats on. The media no, was it's, it's, we can't critical be critical of a whole number of, of policies that Bernie Sanders put forward, far more AOC. Than, yeah. and it, it, than, than anyone, AOC She's as a, well. The media what loves about, AOC. Wait, what about Bill Clinton? No, 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 no. They love talking about AOC. They love kind of like making her part of the conversation. They don't but no one's going against her, AOC her and, policies. Her, and her policies. No what, Democrats the, the Democrat, are going against it. Are you out of your mind? No, we, there are a lot of Democrats. Democrats. That media no, outlets are like against the Green New Deal. Hey, you know, you know what I like? I what like media what, uh, outlet is hey, against wait, wait, the Green one, New one of the, Deal? One at a time. I, I was a really big fan of uh, basically, you know how you say like, oh, Donald Trump, you know, he hates the media and he always says everything's fake news or they're out to get him. But I like how uh, no one said a thing when Pelosi said she was set up and it was fake news against her when she went into the uh, hair salon. Yeah. And, uh, but like no one, no one condemned that what verbiage whatsoever, about. except for like Fox. You news, don't even know what he talked about. It. I, or, that no, I that wait, 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 um, rally and like I think it was in South Carolina where nobody was wearing masks, but every single picture took and videos showed that well over eighty percent of the people there were taking masks. Like they 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 constantly lie. They take uh, they take pictures and set certain angles and make it look worse on 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 Donald Trump and things of this nature. And it's happening all the time. But like, but no, you're not going to admit that. What about the fact For that everybody when did that running in 2016? Too. They would do. They would literally have. Gyms at like ten percent capacity, and they would crowd everybody to the front, get high angles, and make it look like it's packed. Constant media it's not bias. A day. It's not a day. Yeah, but they did the same like thing to Occupy Wall Street to try to make us look like we didn't have as many people as we did, to try to make us look stupid, to try to make us look uh, wrong. Uh, you would see constantly. I would see like reporters from mainstream media sites, even uh, stuff that's like very perceived as very far left leaning, would come to the park and then ignore anyone who could say anything reasonable and go straight to the crazy people every single time because they were interested in slandering us. Similarly, uh, with the Occupy Wall 
street trial of Cecily McMillan, the only Occupy protester uh, to actually be convicted. Um, I was working on the media team for that uh, thing. Uh, what, and what I watched happen was um, we worked really hard to try to get The Daily Show to cover it, the left-leaning Daily Show. We sent, uh, we, we reached out to them again and again and again. Finally, they agreed, we're going to cover it. We're going to do some jokes on this story. Now, this is a girl facing seven years in prison for elbowing a cop with a history of violence in the eye after he grabbed her breast from behind. Didn't even know it was a cop. You know what happened? Oh, The Daily Show covered it. But what they did was they instantly just took the police's side. They said, oh, assaulting a police officer. Yeah, you can't do that. That was Jon Stewart's joke. And he nearly got Cecily put in prison for seven years for a wayward elbow. It's the most ridiculous thing. These people definitely do have a bias towards making their editors happy and towards playing to their particular audience and for kissing up to the powerful and the elite. But that is not the same thing as having a left-wing bias, particularly because the powerful and the elite are not left-wing in any way, shape, or form since the left looks to destroy the powerful and the elite. Um, you know, it, all you guys really got to do is watch Noam Chomsky's Manufacturing Consent, and we see how the entire media got behind the Iraq war. And similarly, similarly, if you look at the coverage of Occupy Wall Street, you'll see the entire media, for the most part, getting behind destroying and defaming Occupy Wall Street. And we see it again now with Antifa. I think so, we really got to talk about what the left is. I understand what you're saying, Brenton, and you're saying that the left, when you're saying the left, I, at least correct me if I'm wrong, you're talking about like progressive left, um, not like the establishment left. But in, in a lot of people's eyes, we still see that as the left, even though you're fighting against that. And I, I mean, you that. may see it, but that's a, that's a sign of uh, the uh, depravity of American culture. Like what's happening? Oh, is so you believe just like Noam Chomsky, where he says yeah. America's the great Satan? That's you believe. Um, that? Noam Chomsky doesn't say America. No, he actually quite literally said that. But anyway, no, no, I don't think America is the great Satan. He refers to America as the great Satan. Why are you going? I mean, he may have said that, but that's like he's probably quoting somebody when he says that. No, he no, said. Uh, so anyway, I don't want to argue about Chomsky in particular because that's an ad hominem argument, and it's stupid, and you shouldn't have brought it up. No, 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 no. You brought up. No, no. You just said America was bad, and then you all. I did not say America is bad. Look, he he quoted Chomsky's idea. He quoted Chomsky's idea. He quoted Chomsky's idea, and then you attack Chomsky on some other unrelated ground. No, no, no. He, he then that he went directly hominem. into a line of attacking America, and I said, "Oh, so no, you're in agreement with Chomsky saying that America is a great thing." Okay, 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 okay. But you don't need to cover for him. Okay. I mean, suspect. Sorry. For anything. I cited a documentary. Suspect. I don't know why I went after Polar for that one. Uh, get, stop talking, Polar. Uh, suspect. Okay. Okay. So, so your problem, uh, with uh, let me just skip down here with, uh, with this person you're engaging with right now. Um, could you be more clear so he can respond clearly? I, I, I'm, I'm kind of confused a little bit. Who are you talking to? Um, so she accused so Chomsky of, of being anti-American, and she's conflating that I think with a position that was cited by Brenton, uh, talking about the media and how they convinced people in the right-wing direction. And Sushi, to sort of put down Brenton, is, is saying for unrelated purposes, you shouldn't listen to Chomsky. Although I don't agree with Brenton's notion that America is like disturbed. I, I, I think that the right-wingers on this panel are wrong about the Democrat bias too, not just the leftist bias. Uh, By the way, I'm just talking about the fact that American like perceptions of politics is out of step with the rest of the world. The Overton window has been pulled very far to the right in our country, and it happened because of the destruction of the left during the McCarthyist era uh, due to Cold War era politics. So what happened was, was that the anarchist movement and the socialist movement and the communist movement were suppressed and destroyed in their entirety, and people's lives were ruined as a result of this. And what happened was, is that led to things being unbalanced, where we have the far right in America, which is currently in power. Then we have the centrists, and then we have the Democrats, which are essentially, I would say they're slightly more uh, uh, socially progressive, but as far as economics go, they're basically 90s era Republicans. So when I talked about uh, how disturbed American culture is, I just mean that the Overton window is too far in one direction and that you're not seeing the whole picture. So I would consider the left to be anything that challenges um, the current economic status quo. So I would say Sochdem, like Bernie Sanders, that's about the the, the furthest right wing center of the of the left. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about left wing and they're including Democrats. So you have to talk to each other. 
And yeah, if you're only, right, that's what I was trying to clarify. So, that's what I was trying so to clarify. I think you're right. If, if you're only talking about like our definition of leftism or what that is, mm -hmm. then we're not talking to each other. So we need to, I think, be capacious enough to include their definition of left wing, which I reject that the Democrats are sort of favored in the media. I want to throw yeah. it over to Vadim. I mean, the Democrats I, are favored I, by I, some I, media. Uh, but I, give me a second. Give me a second. Drone, you cut out. You, drone, I got some bad news for you. Your mic's I, messing up again. And I got to throw it over I, I to would, Vadim. Uh, who was raising his I, I, I would like to 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 uh, to actually speak, but I, I'm just going to just because I think it's fair. I saw that the Turk he he hasn't chimed in that much. He did have his hand up, so I'd like to throw it over to him, and then then if that's cool, then I'll I'll chime in with what I had to say. Sure. Uh, yeah. Turk was also on the list. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll go after you since I whatever. But uh, ahead, I posted Turk. I posted a picture to the uh, Discord with a good chart that has a lot of known uh, media outlets, and I want to hear the panel's opinion on how these outlets are categorized, because from what I'm seeing, it's showing that both liberal uh, left-leaning outlets are in fact left-leaning and right-leaning out outlets are right-leaning. I want to hear people's opinions how is throughout this. Data? How, okay. okay. I so I can give you guys the link to that chart as well, and you can go and read all the data and stuff. But this is, uh, you know, it's not a, a biased source from my understanding. But my well, understanding one way or another, I don't I'll, think I'll it's take even a look relevant. at that. But okay, is is now the time where I, I yeah go ahead. In? Okay, cool. Um, so I just want to throw out there real quickly that I really do think that we need to broaden the circle here because tons of people these days are consuming their media through things like YouTube and online publications. These are not small sources. Sometimes they get far more views than uh, like cable companies who have uh, primetime broadcasts. So, you know, I mean, there's no shortage of popular right wing outlets. The Daily Wire, I believe, is the largest uh, or rather the most read uh, right wing publication or really news publication period on Facebook. There's The Blaze. Um, Brenton was talking about the, you know, channels like Prager U, Stephen Crowder, Ben Shapiro. I, I name all three of those in a row because these Pretty are all new. people who, re who receive funding from everyone from the Koch brothers to highly evangelical fracking billionaires. So when viewed in totality, I don't think that the media, media skews very far left at all because all of those things have to be kind of held into account. And all of those sources that I mentioned are just, um, they're 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 very influential on politics today. Yeah, Tim Pool just passed a million subscribers. That's way right. more, or at least as much. He's relatively as, like, new also, but watch CNN. All right, yeah, and, and y'all view Tim Pool as a right? Oh, Tim Pool is definitely. I oh, know absolutely. Tim Pool. Yeah, Tim Pool is right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, he's right. Yeah, yeah. So I would like to add on. Like, left. Yeah, he basically he's just a he's just a grifter, honestly. No, uh, but, come on. He, no. he wasn't always he's like not that. A grifter. Oh, he is. Wait, wait, wait. This is this is separate, but I have another point to address. I think it's really funny that we just established that like the media isn't a conglomerate, but we hear the same talking points that Trump uses about the media this, the media that, right after we've established that it's a diverse platform with multiple people and we have people like Drone Tech and Sushi who are like, "Well, the media, they do this and they do that." I um, I got to address that. I I don't why? know that we can't call Well, okay, so uh, yes, you're right. We have a lot of these independent sources, especially with the the rise of internet media, um, you know, things like Twitch and things like YouTube and where people have their own independent platforms within another platform, right? But if you look at the media as a whole, if you're talking about traditional media sources, newspapers, uh, TV stations, holy shit, those are giant conglomerates. They're, They're all different. over by like six can companies. I can address this point as well. One, when we think about like media sources, we all know Fox News has the most viewers, not just in news, but in cable in general. That's one aspect. And I also have a really interesting, interesting study that- but you uh, know that Fox is now owned by Disney, right? Fox is Fox. I don't know what to tell you. Do you think there are Fox any less conservatives? Wait, wait, wait. And this, is part of that. Yeah, this ties in because one, we all realize news is a corporation. They go where profit is to be made. And since there's a market for right wing news, uh, like right wing news on national TV, there's going to be one. One, two, uh, like one? Turk, I, Just one? I, two? I said one. That was the, that was the point. That was, that was point just one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was point one. I'm going to but, point two. Yeah, but there is only one or two, though. But yeah. 
Well, right. they are the largest. Well, like two point five seven million. That's massive. Uh, with like the other like news media like coming like trailing behind, right? Um, the Turk brought up an interesting aspect about like the media, like the media companies or the outlets on like a, like a platform on on like this kind of like distribution, right? But even if there was a liberal bias, it doesn't actually affect which stories are covered, right? There was a really interesting study. Wait, wait, wait. it actually dictates how they're. No, covered. let him answer. No, it really does. It's 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 it up for me. I'll give you a great example. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm 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 but now I'm talking so everybody gets quiet. Um I polar I want them to finish the statement and then after I want this to bring to, to uh drone because drone hasn't been able to talk to you to technical issues for a little bit. Let, let Turk go. He's been he's been dying. Polar's okay. addressing okay. me okay. real quick and yeah. I he's teeing it up for a home run here. Okay, okay, yeah, Polar, yeah. would you like to finish? Mm -hmm. So there was a really interesting study that looked at the individual journalists at these media outlets, right? So even if they were liberal, they did a blind study and submitted over 400 news articles, right? And they all looked at the fact that even though they were liberal, conservative, or with other independently defined uh, political affiliation, they still reported about the same news, like the, the same types of news. I think that easily demonstrates that even though there may be like this kind of distribution onto where they may be generally, it's not affecting which stories that they covered. And one really important aspect of this as well is this study didn't just include national networks, but local news and state news. That's really important. And we do not take that into effect when we think about national news networks, because a lot of people get their news from uh, like local or like radio news, for example. So can I respond? Sure. So that's, that uh, study is from uh, Science Mac. I actually posted it in the Discord as well. And yes, what they determined was what you said is in fact. But if did you actually read the article and the, how they performed the study? Yeah, I looked at the methodology, yeah. Okay, cool. So you know that the response rate for this was very, very, very low, especially statistically speaking, for a study of this scale, right? And well, the questions they were asking were basically, we're going to come up with this, uh, uh, make not make-believe, but like a pretend person that's running for a Senate seat, governor, whatever, and they like yeah. intentionally asked these people to respond back, and they said, eh, yeah, I'll cover it, and it's like, that's that's not call, that's not like the news that we're talking about here. That's like, yeah, we'll go and report the news. What we're talking about is the bigger picture. And this goes into what Brenton was saying. People want to be selling this the views for money and everything. This is not an interesting story. No one cares what like some potential person's going to be running for. Wait, this, but that's wait, wait, but that kind of demonstrates whether it's actually left or right, right? Specific. If no, you want, and if you even go wait. and look at the data itself, I can actually show you the chart. Uh, it's figure four here. Um, if you actually, actually, it's not figure four. Whatever, uh, I can we can talk about it in the DM. But basically, if you look at it, there is actually a slight skews that conservatives will report more on conservative stuff, and both sides of the progressive liberalism will report more on liberal uh, people was, that are going. Yeah. What was the percentage on that though? Quick question for the Turk. It, it's uh, not a percentage thing. It's a trend thing, and that's this entire conversation. Is there a bias in the media? Yes. So the so, so it's not like, just the story. It's not just the story, but the spin on that story or the way it's covered. Okay. Like, uh, like a great example of this. And I'm not. It's not that I want to get into like race and police and stuff, but this is a good example. The media does not report on. Let's uh, Brianna Taylor's a great example. So that happens. But uh, there was another big story in Houston where two white people were shot and killed by, and, and a no knock raid that uh, two black cops lied to get. So it was an unlawful warrant and yet you don't hear about that now well, I'm not people wait, 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 wait. i'm not getting into a whole race argument but my point is hold on you need to finish let's we gotta we gotta let him finish and then you can my point is, is that going. there is there is definitely a bias bent in what stories they'll cover to advance a narrative if they reported both stories that narrative that they're that they're going with right now might start to crumble now now that there's more context injected so they will ignore stories Purpose, or if they do cover it, they won't cover it in the same racially kind of hysterical lens that they would otherwise. Of and that's just something I, 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 I need to lay it in on this really quickly. Excuse me. No, no, no. Sure? Throw it over uh, to Pisco. Yeah. I'll throw it to you so, after. One is I reject your notion that you have the opinion or the, the, the perfect analysis of when something is covered in a hysterical way. I reject that you have the credentials to assign for me or to assign for the people what's hysterical and what's not. Second of all, people cared more about the Breonna Taylor story. If you have a problem with more people covering the Breonna Taylor story, you have a problem with people uh, caring more about that story. So I, I think that the egg, the sort of starting factor is what people care about and the media will tailor to that. And if people don't care much about your story, they're not going to cover it. 
So right, if they don't care about it for political reasons, they won't cover it. Yeah, duh. The, the the issue with I've heard this question a lot. Um, why doesn't the because you know the cops do kill a ton of white people. So why does the media not cover white people in the way that they cover the murder of black people? It is because there is not a racialized element to the killing of white people mm. by police. And if they you're were just to assuming go after, it's a racial element, you're just you're no. Just I'm saying it's that. not a racial element. Oh my God. I'm saying, and if okay. they were to no. work in a, what they would have to do, you're just rationalizing would, it. No, I'm not rationalizing it. If they would have to to cover the police murders of white people in the way they cover police murders of black people, would have to lead to a criticism of the police overall as an right. institution, which and might they actually don't want to do that something. because they're liberals and they like the police. No. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. What I'm gonna do here? I want to make. Oh, wait, 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 suspect. I want to make sure that we do remember that this was about media bias, and I want to make while you're talking about this in the aspect of media bias, make sure it stays in that aspect, and we don't get off into a debate specifically about police because nobody here studied for that. Uh, sure, I'll, but th this relates directly to media bias. The, the 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 fact is is that they're not biased. It's not like they're trying to hide the murders of uh, white people. They absolutely are. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So CBS was tweeting out the other day. CBS and ABC and NBC mm -hmm. was tweeting out. And I'll let you go, Turk. They were tweeting out 139 black people killed this year so far. And they had a wall, like a wall of names. Like mm -hmm. nobody. OK, why were they killed? We don't know. There's all these details that are left out on purpose because it's part of a narrative. Right. It can't but, be comprehensive. And, they can't just list everything. There's an information. Are you kidding overload. me? Why yeah. would you put that out? That is insightful. You, you can't can't know know those people are Can you link to that? Can you link to that, please? Yeah, I, 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 I will. I will. I, I would I'll like get to it. See it. I'll get it. Uh, I, I know you said you're going to throw it to Turk, but IPA hasn't talked in a while, so I want to throw the IPA, Vadim, and then Turk, if that's okay. As, cool. as much as I would like to attack the the, the racial notion there, I, 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 I'm going to respect what Dylan wanted to do and not go there. Um, he, I feel like, Drontek, you're taking this in a, in a really way more nefarious way than I think it needs to be looked at. I, I, I feel like... There's an obvious motivator here, and it's not racial undertones. It's not, you know, what we're trying to push as a narrative. I'm for a political right. agenda, it's not money. It's what's getting right. attention. It's what's getting people to watch. It's money. Right. I agree. I'm not saying it's racial necessarily. I'm saying they're using race for a political agenda, and that's why what's they their political the agenda? What's their political end? What's their and, political end? Well, ultimately, above all, it's to get Democrats in power. So this helps yeah. that along. Because that's the that's that's what Democrats are out there. It's all to bolster what the Democrats are out there Wait, saying. So, so it's, the, a it's a storyline. It's a storyline. The, the media is like a wholesale arm of the Democratic Party. Correct? Uh, not wholesale, but largely, yeah. I mean, okay. look at ABC News. George Stephanopoulos, for, former Clinton official. You got uh, at ABC. Um, what's his face? That was uh, also part of the Obama administration. Like, there, all these anchors are former Democrats. Like I, working. So the fact that they're former Democrats means that they're affiliated in a way that it's an agent relationship. And well, uh, the media's taking their marching orders from the DNC. Is that your I'm just watching it. I'm sitting there watching no, it. No, they're taking their eyes. marching orders from the companies yeah. above ABC. Yeah, sorry, so ABC, sorry. again, yeah. like, again, go back to what I said in chat, uh, Disney, right? Like, it's Disney, Viacom. Uh, um, uh, let me go back to my thing here. Hang on a second. Uh, give me two seconds. Sure. Oh, Quick how question was, for the Turk. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it's like it's like six companies, one of which being Disney that owns ABC, which owns like so. Yes, they're, they're they're it's coming downhill, right? And ultimately, what it is is that they're yes, there's there's a lot of money involved in that in that, right? And so yes, they're being told from on high to do these things. I want to throw it over to Vadim, then the Turk, and then Sus because I saw Sus raise his name too. Okay, I'd like to uh, speak a little more to Donald Trump and the media. I think that he is actually just a threat to freedom of the press in general. I think he, I absolutely do. And, and I'll name some some facts that I think establish that. One, he said it was to Justin Trudeau. He said it was frankly disgusting the way that the press is able to write whatever they want to write. Um, he threatened to cancel the broadcast licenses of media companies that offer negative coverage of him. He had the White House press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, call ESPN to fire Jameel Hill for criticizing him. Um, he oh, asked, I did it. 
Comey, uh, the, who was at the, the time the FBI director, to jail reporters who published classified information, or he asked if that was possible. I guess that's more more like in line with, with what it was. Uh, he threatened to pull cr pr cr the credentials, credentials. of the reporters, uh, I mean, of reporters sorry, who write negative stories about him while admitting he considers negative media coverage to be fake. Um, I mean, I could go on here. I, I have a long, extensive list. Um, and, you know, he's, he said 91% of the network news about me is fake. Uh, I mean, it's just, he, this man is in stark opposition to the very spirit of both, I think, free speech. There's, there's other arguments that I can make to, to, to that individually. And more importantly, just the freedom of, of press. But I, I name both of those things at the same time because they're just kind of inextricably linked. But Drone, anyway, Drone, that's Drone, you just that's, listed something in the in the Discord. Can you can you tell me what this story proves? Well, <clears throat> what it proves is that they the media is not interested in details. They want people thinking that black people are being hunted down by police. Just black shot. People are being really, hunted really, down by just police. shot. But they're not though. They're just shot. But they're not. Like they're really. No, they not. are being hunted down by police. No, no they're, not. they're not. They're really not. What that's, you don't know? Like why these? Look. No. Yes, no, I do. Look, you dude, don't know why the, 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 the Trump Justice the Department, Department, the, the Trump the Justice Department Justice admitted both disagree admitted that in Ferguson, the Ferguson Police Department, which was started as a slave black, organization, which is used black. dogs strictly to torture and intimidate only black suspects. Provide that there source with the exact words. I would, I would like that. Provide that, that source like with the exact words you just said. Look, provide it's... that source with the exact words. Look up the... the, the... No, 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 no. You, you claim no, the, 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 the statement. You, you provide made the, the source. Right. Okay. Well, okay. Go, I'll find it for you. Let's go. Okay, so, Let's go. I just want to tell you. Well, yeah, that, I got that, a, that CBS uh, story. I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm just going back. I just want to get back to the list while he tries to get the source to provide it for the Turk. Turk was actually on the list and then it was sus. Uh, yeah. Turk, uh, do you want to go or should I throw this up first? Yeah, I can go. Okay. Uh, so question for the panel. Um, you know, the the whole Brianna Taylor thing was a complete tragedy. I think everybody agrees with that. But what was the type of warrant that was served the night that it happened? I want everyone to respond to this because this goes to the topic tonight. It was, I, th I think it was served as a as a knock warrant after, right? The, the, the allegation, there are disputes about the facts is the answer to your question. Uh, There's no the, dispute about the facts. There is a dispute about the facts of, no. of how it was executed. Right. So the did judge you watch the attorney general? Uh, yes, the, yes. And he said it was a no knock warrant. Correct. It there is no refuting knock. that. It is a fact. So it, there's refuting how it was executed. Right. So there's dispute about the facts and whether they knocked. Right. I, I'm not saying one way or the other. But but to answer your question, there's a question. It wasn't about racial. Knocked, it right? wasn't racial. But the media want, is making people think it's racial. I, I don't want to get into that to the stories of the, the sort of the instances of those. Stories. But that goes the towards people, this entire discussion. Right. You're not right. getting fed facts the right way, and that is framing how people are understanding and interpreting information. There's I, media outlets. Fox News does it wrong. CNN does, does it wrong. They are not perpetrating the facts the way they are. That is they bias. are. I, I, if you go to the New York Times, they will say things like there doesn't – there. It, it, undisputed that the first shot was by the boyfriend they give the facts as, as understood by the special prosecutor and the ag i think that the tail that's wagging the whole dog is public perception the public thinks that there's the media a, is giving the public the perception i don't think it's that way i think that there's a perception public i can guarantee the, the public did not watch the attorney general's remarks about the case they did, they did. of course they did no they they of course okay. they did. Pisco, let's like, let, let's let's well, talk yeah. about Kyle. Let's let's just briefly pivot to Kyle Rednaus, right? Because you and I and yeah. a couple other people were on your on your stream reading the actual charges, right? And Correct. we kind of analyzed it, right? Um, uh, not a, who how many people do you think are actually honestly out there doing that? Like really, probably no, not that many like, people. Not a lot. Like, we're, we're, of, of course, not a lot. What's what's the point? Like the people aren't gonna read huge. A like very criminal. small minority of people are going to actually be that well informed. We, we read the uh, motion to dismiss sentence, like the, the memorandum that was issued by the defense lawyers. No one's doing that unless you're a, a, a sort of a weirdo like we are. So I, I have mean, to say, a crime or murderer. Oh, oh, I understand that. No, first of all, no, that's not the case. People are criticizing aspects of that um, that incident on both sides. There are people saying this was valid self defense. 
who ha- on the media who have read. Like, I, I didn't mean to bring up I didn't mean to bring up Rittenhouse because I want to talk about the issue. But my point was, there are a very small number of people in this world that are going to intentionally be as informed as someone like yourself, right. right? That are going to sit down for three hours and analyze what that they actually said. So yes, a lot of us just get our media from hey, I saw this headline on the news. Are they talked about it for three media, minutes on my local per- news? Okay. That's a perfect point, and it goes to Drone's point about why aren't they showing more stuff. The fact is, there's a bandwidth problem here. They can't show everything. They have to cut stuff because people aren't going to read everything. Here are excuses and rationalizations. Just it's like not what? Not, it's not rationalization. The, the whole object uh, objectivity versus uh, you said object uh, objectivity versus neutrality. Right. I mean, and I'm hearing this a lot from the, these people in the media, and, and it's these super biased people who are. Uh, and look, guys, I'm for I'm all for media. That's tough on politicians, including Trump. But they they specifically omit by lie, they lie by omission constantly. They omit tons of data. They omit stories of uh, unarmed white people being shot by cops, and they do that because it, it would make the whole current narrative crumble. These people protesting would look like I mean I'm sorry, it's a conspiracy theory. I mean the whole hands up, don't shoot. That was a conspiracy theory. That's still leading to like death and destruction today, and that was popularized. I, I don't want to get in the merits. How is that a conspiracy theory? It didn't happen. What I don't want to get it. What, didn't, what happen? didn't happen? Yeah. The hands up, those shoot, shoot started for Michael Brown, and it yeah, didn't happen. Correct. It, it did, did not happen. happen. Oh, okay. I don't want to get in the merits. No, 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 no. Before you no, 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 pivot away from it, no, 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 Pisco, Pisco. Before you, before you pivot away from it, what he is quite literally saying is the hands up, don't shoot narrative of Michael Brown was falsely reported on and massively spread. And when it finally came out with the truth of the matter that happened, they barely, barely, and usually it's during non-peak hours, like offered any type of of repenting of their previous news statement. This happens all the time. So, so one it, is it refers sit strictly to Michael Brown. Hands up, don't shoot was something that was popularized because oftentimes unarmed, uh, unarmed it literally black stemmed from the Michael Brown. Brown. It literally stemmed from the from the Michael Brown uh, protest. The slogan, the the, the slogan, literally made the slogan black black like, as a result of Michael Brown, but it was not just simply about Michael Brown. And there is really plenty of data. Started started at the exact time I want to let I wanted I want to, let, I wanted, I want to hear Brenton finish Brown. his point. Yeah, this, he's there's, plenty of, there's plenty of data, and I actually have it right here because I was prepared for a debate on BLM that proves conclusively that cops shoot unarmed black men more often than they shoot unarmed white men. So Proportionally, you mean. Get on the merits. Statistics actually says you're lying about that per capita. It's not the Don't case. get in the merits. It's no. not what the conversation's about. Hang on. Let me find this. Okay. So Dude, you're I, to I, I am about, I'm going, I'm about to. Okay, it okay, okay, okay. I'm putting, I'm, I'm ending it there. Next you, person you, who talks to You want me to read off the Ferguson thing directly on here? Because I sent it. Okay. To- Brent has been the mo- muted. I, I said if next person to talk is muted, he got muted. Look. Okay. We're, I'm forcefully dragging it back to the media. Okay. I understand that this is a topic that uh should probably be discussed i specifically chose not to choose these as one of the topics um due to the fact that i, I want to make sure people had plenty of time to research and i wanted to have specific guests on to talk about that topic maybe some of you can come on in the future to talk specifically about black lives matter and i understand how it is also related to uh the topic but i think we're getting way too in the weeds on the specific point when it's specifically about this. In the future, if you want to come on here to talk about this in the future, send me a DM. I will do my best to have uh, anybody who's on here right now to uh, to be on that future show. I've done a Black Lives Matter panel that was 100% about Black Lives Matter before. I'm willing to do it again due to recent events. Uh, I just want to make sure that we get back on topic since we don't have a lot of time left on this so we can finish this. So I'm going to throw it first to Vadim and then I'm going to... Uh, after that, I hope we can get to Polar. I never got my... my, my uh, well, I, sus- I, I, I will I, say, I, Suspect, you did get to talk a lot in these engagements. Um, I, I will... Well, like, when they say outright well, salacious yeah, yeah, well, lies, I had suspect, to respond. Suspect, yep. I, I, it, it will get back to you. I promise, okay? If not here, you will get an ending statement, just like everybody else, okay? So I'm going to throw it to Vadim, I'm going to throw it to Polar, ah. and then I'll throw it to Sus. Sure. I'd like to throw uh, throw out a question to, I mean, I guess everybody, but I'm really interested to see what the conservative folks on the panel have to say about this. I'm wondering if you will at least concede that there are some very dangerous uh, issues that Trump has popularized that um, have uh, you know, he's helped take root in more in society. Uh, but I'll just name two right off the top of my head. 
um, global warming is a Chinese hoax. I mean, that's not the only thing that he said about it, but he's very dismissive of global warming in general. It's an existential crisis to the planet. And I think that kind of uh, president saying things of that sort is really horrible. Coronavirus, he spread, uh, you know, I mean, way too many uh, just, just bullshit things about coronavirus to even for, for me to even launch into uh, listing them. So I, I, my, my question to you, it doesn't have to be those if you don't think those to apply, but is there any topic that you feel that he has been really dishonest with, with the American public and the media, media in general? An open question of right wingers, or what was? Yeah, I, really I mean, everyone can chime in, but it. I would like to hear what the right wingers, especially, have to say about this. I mean, it, he's so often misquoted. I'm just, I'm just fact checking mm -hmm. the Chinese hoax. Or did he, did he say global warming is a hoax? He says a Chinese hoax. I just want to see. He, he said it's a Chinese like hoax. That. Also, uh, coincidentally, the Chinese used to say that the, that the West was responsible for it way back in the day. Um, but anyhow. Um, that from a Dylan Burns video, as a matter of fact. I think there was a lot of misinformation about COVID early on. I mean, worldwide. I mean, uh, in our country. Hey, I, I see you rolling your eyes, but I mean, the fact of the fact, I mean, January, he, closed down, he shut down travel early oh, January. Okay. Well, we're just talking about and then, uh, everyone and then, why, why are we going to go to Chinatown and said it's yeah. racist of him to close down travel to China and we should just come it's to Chinatown true. and everything's fine. You know, you know, what's pretty, you know what's pretty cringe calling it the China virus? What? You know what's pretty cringe? Wait, 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 uh, at you know, and, 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 and if you don't think so, is there anything that you can name that you think that he has been dishonest about that you think uh, is an issue of importance? Can I just real quick say before Trump, it was kind of accepted that politicians lie all the time. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, oh, I'm I'm say, like, oh my God, he's oh, like, he's like, like no, no one lied. Do you do you, when, do you remember when? Do you remember Barack Obama a uh, uh, drone striked an American citizen who just had like loose totally irrelevant. I do remember Paris. that because Occupy yes. Wall Street made a huge issue of it. I yeah. was I was okay. actually about that on the radio. Do you do you remember? Do you remember the uh, when people were bringing that up to him, and then the media was saying the only reason they were bringing it up to him because he was black? I remember that. Like I'm just saying, there's obviously the media. media bias. There's certain no. Certain I'm, media I'm saying there's media that. bias on both the right and the left. I think heavy bias is an issue, and I think that Trump's mm -hmm. uh, attacks on media in general are warranted. The fact of the matter is, I have a quick question, Kirk. I've been okay. wanting to ask this for a while. Okay, you can ask the question. No, no, I was actually literally talking to you just then. I, I I'm going I, to. Yeah. Then, okay, I can yeah, respond to the we, question. Okay, yeah, really. cool. Okay. But then we gotta we, actually. I want to go through the rest of the list. Oh, by the way, Vadim, I'm getting a lot of feedback from you. I apologize. I'll try and. Unfortunately, my um, my headphone jack is kind of fucked up. So hopefully this well, will that's help. Set okay. Up. I have a quick question for the Turk, um, and I, I bear with me on this because uh, this is relevant. Um, is India is the nation of India in the west or the east? I'd probably say it's in the east. Okay, now this is interesting. So uh, with regard to your media study of things being on the left or the right and where they are, um, if you read the writings of the Zen Buddhists, they will say that the Buddha came from the West because the Buddha came from India. So obviously when you get a study like what you posted in the Discord where it's like going in a thing, there is a bias in it by selecting where the you are here point is, where the center point is. I'm saying that the center point is moved further to the right than the actual center, taking into account the diversity of all political, major political opinions on the but, planet. But to take that logic, you would also think that Bernie Sanders is only slightly left compared to I the do normalized think Bernie Sanders is only slightly left. left. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's not the way left. if you go to like the neutral camp, he is far left. So yeah, but the neutral camp is inherently reactionary. See, that's they've been moved further counter to the your right point. by American. The Buddha no, no. came from West. Yeah, no, could have been geographically the, the West of camp, The neutral camp in the United States is far to the right of the neutral camp in Europe and pretty much all over the world. 
because Why only the United like, States de- utterly destroyed its entire far left movement. I disagree. The States, I mean, Eugene B. Deb ran president from prison and received like 30 percent of the vote. Um, the, the fact of the matter is, is that during the Cold War, it became uh, politically dangerous to be a communist when communists have been part of this nation ever since communism became a thing. In the same way that it became politically dangerous to be a socialist or politically dangerous to be an anarchist. And so thus, the 1980s, to the 1980s, these voices were totally suppressed and not allowed within discourse. And so the United States discourse moves further to the left. And the thing that became identified with the left is not actually leftist. So what? But it's only here. Wait, that, that demonstrates kind of the point that like, the Brent's, trying to, Brent's trying to get across. I'd also like to adjust – Turk, when I went, when we looked over figure four of that that story, one, that was – I don't even think that was considered st- uh, statistically significant to make that large of a difference. One. Two, I would also say that like the, the rhetoric that Trump is used saying things like fake news and reinforcing this aspect about like this, this bad form of media is spreading across the world, right? Can I ask you real quick? Was it bad when Fox News was called fake news for eight years under Obama? Was that bad? He what? Sorry, this is wait, wait, wait. Obama? You're not even letting me finish. Wait, th- this has nothing to do with my point inherently. What I'm All trying right, to say ahead. is that his rhetoric, right, and the the way that he speaks and engages with the media is spreading across the world. We see this, I'm pretty sure, like with Bolsonaro in Brazil. We saw this in Egypt, where four days before he got to e- uh, Trump got to Egypt, they passed fake news laws, which literally made anyone over 5,000 followers considered a news outlet to it say that like, long before Trump. What are you Not talking a, about? Wait, wait, wait. I'm talking about exporting this to the like other aspects of the so world what? and then making the large differences there. So that what? Is, the wait. president influences the world at large. What's wait, 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 wait. My point is, is that the world in a bad yeah. way. Yeah, Fox, that's not a good way. Wait, that's over figure four of that that story. One, that was, I don't even think that was considered st- uh, statistically significant to make that large of a difference. One, two, I would also say that like the, the rhetoric that Trump is used saying things like fake news and reinforcing this aspect about like this, this bad form of media is spreading across the world, right? Can I ask you real quick? quick? Was it bad when Fox News was called fake news for eight years under Obama? Was that bad? He, what? Start? This is wait, wait, wait! Oh, you're Obama? not even letting me finish. Wait, th- this has nothing to do with my point inherently. What I'm trying right, to say ahead. is that his rhetoric, right, and the the way that he speaks and engages with the media is spreading across the world. We see this. I'm pretty sure, like with Bolsonaro in Brazil, we saw this in Egypt, where four days before he got to e- uh, Trump got to Egypt, they passed mm-hmm. fake news laws, which literally made anyone over five thousand followers considered a news outlet to it say that like, long before Trump. What are you Not talking about? Wait, wait, wait. I'm talking about exporting this to the like other aspects of the so world what? and then making large differences there. So that what? Is, the wait. president influences the world at large. What's wait, 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 wait. My point is, is that the world in a bad yeah. way. They call yeah, Fox that's not a good people. way. Of, wait, that's well, not a good way. Of let's let's, let's, Trump, let's Trump, let Trump, let finish my quick. point. It's not. You're, you just said I'm Trump's not, rhetoric. Wait, 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 fake news. Well, I'm not saying I want fake news. I want to hear the end of Polar's point. Then throw it to Sus because I got to wrap it up. So one aspect of this, what I'm saying is this form of rhetoric is exporting across the world, especially when it comes to other nations where they have stricter and harsher effects. Yes, Sushi, we are an influencer around the world, and that's why what we do matters. Specifically, when it comes to one of the most important aspects of having a free and democratic society is the media in this sense. And when we're like when, when we're pushing oh, right. laws and aspects that are necessarily criticizing and demonizing the media, even worse than we're doing now, please tell me how that creates a free and democratic society. Okay, so the same media that said before the election that challenging the election results was an attack on democracy. The same media that has uh, rejected the election results for the last four years, right? It's irrelevant to my point, though, Trump. It's not at all. Wait, not, like, not, no, 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 no. It creates a precedent of challenging it every time you guys lose. That's not the point that I'm trying to make, Sushi. I'm not talking about You're whether the media... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I'm actually, I'm not actually... Wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen. I'm not talking about whether the media is actually engaging in this form of behavior. What I'm talking about is this individual, our president, is exporting this kind of response and these ways of addressing media. It's not necessarily relevant whether the media is actually doing it or not. What's relevant is this aspect of exporting it to the other other parts of the world where, one, they have even worse leaders than we do here, and they're making it much, much worse for the citizens of that state. No, no, no. He's not exporting a thing. Like, the fact of the matter is, if someone is influenced by the way he carries himself, that's not a conscious effort done by Donald Trump. You're attacking... He's not Machiavelli. He doesn't have to be a conscious effort. He's, he's not, no, no, no. He's not, he's not playing it. 4D chess. Dude, he's just attacking. Well, the of course. Wait, wait, he doesn't have to be. He's an idiot. Yeah, he's an idiot. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, suspect, you're going to finish this up, and then we're going to go into ending statements, which Geek is no, going to have to organize. You already good? Okay, Geek... Can you organize ending statements? Because I need to use the bathroom terribly, and moderating while needing to use the bathroom is an extremely stressful position to be in. 
<laughs> oh, I also want to say I'm no gonna words. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something really biased. Eugene Debs. I just I actually yesterday just studied Eugene Debs in history class. It was six percent of the vote, not thirty. Okay, six? continue. Yeah, six percent. That That's All still right. pretty impressive, but I thought it was thirty. We're going to do closing statements in the order of webcam. So, hey, it's Vadim, you start. Wait, real quick. Uh, I'm sorry to cut you, but appar apparently Dylan muted you on his end, uh, probably because of the echo. So, yeah, we're going to go to someone else and wait until Dylan comes back because, yeah. I think Sushi was uh, primed up for things before the closing statements. Uh, yeah, well, he's next. So, yeah, so, suspect Sushi, your turn. My closing statement? Um... Basically, all we've heard here is uh, the confirmation bias of people on the left thinking that the uh, basically big tech and all the news outlets that are on their side uh, are being uh, completely fair and balanced and everything that they do and not biased whatsoever when, when it comes to covering Trump. Even I can outright admit that there's favoritism and bias from like Fox News, OAN and things like this to make Trump look better. Um, that's the fact that I just can't I, I find it uh, astounding to me that you can't just admit that these things are absolutely happening on both sides. So it just shows that you can't be consistent. Also, I just hear the constant whining and complaining. Oh, Trump's a monster. Trump's a monster. Dude, it is played out, my guy. Like, dude, I got to be honest with you, Vadim. You, you're, you seem to be a nice guy, but that lady who was like wailing on the Washington Monument steps did it way better than you. So you might as well just give it up now. Other than that, good old Uhuru for all my boys in chat, and I'm done. All right. Uh, the talk. Uh, so I want to answer Vadim's question uh, about if I don't believe or trusted Trump's statements about anything. I will say about the COVID thing, I never really followed what Trump said because I don't find Trump to be an expert when it comes to medical advice. I look towards Dr. Fauci, and you know what happened? He was wrong about several things. The entire uh, CDC was mixed up. There was a bunch of miscommunications, like uh, Drone Tech said at the beginning. And, you know, people get facts wrong during this entire pandemic thing. So it's like, you know, if Trump's saying to inject bleach, that's just dumb. And if you believe he's actually advocating that, you're dumb, okay? And then I think, Polar, you had a question for me too. I don't remember what it was. Can you ask that real quick? Geek, is it okay? I was just mentioning- Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we talked about. Yeah, Go so that, that, figure, yeah, that figure for, um, they, they mentioned in the Senate- Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the figure, sure, it's not showing the uh, drastic bias that we we're trying to talk about tonight, but what it shows is the trend. And the fact is that the trend shows that there is bias in the media, and that's what this topic is. There is bias. And you guys, I even threw a very heavily biased uh, source of information at you guys, and uh, y'all didn't get to refute it. Sorry. Um, all can right. You, uh, um, you can answer that later, basically. Uh, you're not allowed to, well, yeah, you're not allowed to interrupt during a closing and opening statement. Uh, I'm going to throw it to Pisco. Yeah, I think it's um, what has been shown on this panel, maybe somewhat effectively by the right wingers, are individual instances of um, reporters and news outlets being irresponsible, at times biased, um, totally accept to, to the extent that those instances were, instances were proven, you know, it's valid, right? So there are instances where reporters fuck up, where they get the wrong um, story where they perpetuate a false narrative. No one denies that. It happens in news outlets all the time. It happens on social media all the time. The, the question, though, is, is there a larger liberal bias? And I think that bias, if it exists, exists among people and consumers. And whether or not uh, the hands up, don't shoot is an instance of the tail wagging the dog, I, I think it might be. I think it's people having their own rallying cries and their own um slogans and the media picking up on it and the media I, I sort of i see them as more innocent actors in this than people who are perpetuating from the top down uh narratives which the people are following i think the people are moving and shaping a lot of the narratives and the uh, the media doesn't really have a dog in the political fight some p individual reporters might but uh, i think the media is too diverse to to be referred to as an it um, and i don't think they have a conscious uh, desire 
for Paul or for a political end one way or the other. All right. Um, real quick, I just posted in the chat every source given during this debate in the group. Uh, in the future, if you post a source in the group, please post it in the Dylan's chat as well. Uh, Dylan, can you unmute uh, Creation is cut on your end? Basically, because he couldn't give uh, his uh, closing statement. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I had him. I had him uh, muted due to the feedback. But yeah, now I can give you a closing statement. Yeah, go ahead. Um Sure. I mean, I'll just briefly speak to sus Suspect Sushi. Sorry, that's a hard name to say. Uh, his straw men about my point of view. Um, yeah, I think that there is a basic media bias that is somewhat superficial. I don't think that it goes much further than um, kind of advocating for left wing candidates. And, um, you know, I mean, I, I just, uh, there are certain ways in which I would definitely say that there happens to be some left-wing bias. I, I don't think like across the board, I would never say that it's it's fair and balanced and completely 50-50, nor do I think it should be. Uh, when it comes to lies that, that uh, Trump told about coronavirus, I mean, I was just looking things over. These are just some of them. He said the coronavirus very early on would weaken when we uh, got into when we get into April in the warmer weather. Uh, that was total bullshit. He said that the outbreak would be temporary. He said that if the economic shutdown continues, there will be an uh, an uptick in deaths by suicide. Totally unsupported claim. Um, it this just goes on and on and on. There's there, there's like endless. I'm just looking through a list of them that the Atlantic has. Uh, all of these things, and and there's far more dangerous claims than that. But just really the thing that I want to hammer the most here is that I truly do think, uh, you know, aside from whatever we may, what whatever kind of consensus we have or lack of consensus we have on the nature of the media in general and its propensity to go to the left or the right or the center. Um, it doesn't matter to me at the end of the day. What I really want to say is that Trump is actively a threat to uh, the spirit of the freedom of the press. And he it's 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 just uh, not, not just that, but also just, um, you know, scientific facts and kind of we've seen a further diminishing as a result of him as uh, being being president of the intelligence of America and things that that's like why I said at, at the outset that idiotic things like QAnon are taking hold. Uh, it's very, 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 uh, I, I would say, um, sparked by Trump himself. People um, kind of look to leaders and mimic them uh, or, you know, just kind of really take to heart the things that they say. And you can see his bullshit statements just being uh, totally, uh, QAnon sucks them up. And there are a lot of other people who aren't quite as bad as QAnon who sucks them up. So. Yeah, um, I, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, next, let me check the list that Geek sent me because he is so, so nice to me. Uh, let me check. It is, next is going to be Drone Tech. Okay, um, well, there's a lot to, I've been embroiled in this stuff for a long time, so there's a lot to say, but let me just say, first of all, you guys are all really smart and you guys are all real, real respectful and I enjoyed this. Um, the problem with this debate, it's a hard debate because a lot of it is, is shaped by people's perspectives. And, you know, I'm just uh, as susceptible to that as anybody else. I mean, our, our perspectives are shaped by the media in a lot of ways. Um, first of all, I think Trump's attacks on the media are legit. I think he does go too far sometimes. But I think that Trump himself is a result of a corrupt media that people aren't our people aren't stupid. I mean, if you look at uh, polling going back 20 years uh trusted media has been dropping the only the only people where it stayed pretty consistent is the democrats uh everybody else independents uh republicans it's been dropping for a long time so it's not it's not trump's fault and when you say like trump uh he's exporting this i mean come on i mean uh, they were calling fox news fake news for eight years uh phone news remember that that was like a big thing so that, that didn't start with trump uh trump just kind of flipped it back um Media is undoubtedly, guys, it's undoubtedly an extension of the Democrat Party. I don't say you can deny it. I mean, uh, you were talking about individual instances of issues, uh, Pico, uh, Pisco. It's not individual. There's a definite pattern. I mean, if you look at these mistakes, 
uh, at least, I mean, as long as I've been paying attention, they're always, they always cut one way. They always cut against the right. And a lot of times these mistakes come about because of the preconceived notions of the people reporting. And a great example of that is the Covington kid thing. I mean, the, the reason the media fell for that is because it can, it initially it confirmed all their biases and they fell for it. Same with the, uh, the news thing. I mean, and those are just the high profile ones. Guys, I make a living off of talking about this stuff daily. Okay. So it's a daily thing. Um, and, and it's a definite pattern. Like I said, it's always on the right. I mean, you talk about science too. Like I'm a right winger. I love science. And I, you know, maybe Trump's not the best uh, ambassador of science, but uh, science is not the domain of the left. They don't own it. All right. Uh, the left also says that men can have babies and I don't want to get off into the weeds of they that. Can. Okay. They, they technically can. They can they absolutely I'm can. sorry. I'm interrupting. I, I shouldn't do that. Yeah. The, sadly, you cannot. Yeah, that's completely insane to me. But uh, anyway, um, so, I mean, there's tons. I, we could go down the list of the the things. The media is comprised of mostly Democrats. It's mostly donates to Democrats. They mostly supported Clinton. Uh, I mean, the only legitimate election is one won by Democrats when you look at it. I mean, remember Bush. It was a conspiracy theory when he won both times. And then Obama wins. All clear. Then Trump wins. Oh, it's conspiracy theory. <laughs> All right. So it's never legitimate. Look at the midterms. Repu uh, Democrats did well. The all clear was given. It's all good. That's legitimate. Oh, if Trump wins, that's not legitimate. The only legitimate scandal, apparently, is one involving Republicans because the media and uh, the FBI comes out and says, oh, it's the Russians. If, if there's denigration that you see against Joe Biden, that's the Russians. So we're not even allowed to criticize Democrats or the media. If you if you criticize the media, you're attacking the media, you're attacking democracy. Um, it, you know, it, um, it, 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 it's just this pattern. Um so that I mean, I guess that's my closing army. Uh, if you get on Twitter and someone was talking about, oh, it's not all the reporters. It's just some dude, guys, I follow all the reporters on Twitter. They're all left wing activists. All of them. They all post the same stuff every day. It's always, you know, from the left, attacking Republicans, putting Republicans. I mean, guys, we can go look at interviews with, between Republicans and Democrats, Republicans from the mainstream media of Democrats. Or it's always softballs. If they get any criticism at all, it's from the left. Republicans, it's like they're hostile witnesses, you know, being interviewed by the police. So, I mean, and like I said, we could go back and forth on these examples all day. But uh, in my mind, the media is tearing this country apart with their lies, their lies by omission, their uh, cherry picking of stories to report and data to present to the public. Um, and when they talk about... Uh, delegitimizing the election and that it's Trump doing that guys, that's what they're doing. They're saying that if Trump wins, the only way he can win is if he's cheating. The, the media has been attacking our election institution from the beginning. They've been saying that the Russian. So I'm, all I'm saying is that by their own standards, they are, they're the problem. And so that's my closing argument. Okay. Next we're going to be throwing it over. Let me check geeks list. It's going to be polar. For everyone in chat, I'd like to ask one question. Everyone here as well. What is the media? Okay, is the media the millions of people that watch uh, network TV, which is headed by Fox News? Is the media the 244.5 million Americans who listen to the radio each month? Number two being the, mo uh, the number two, the most popular aspect of radio being news talk. Is media Facebook where conservative groups run wild? Is media YouTube where we have people like Tim Pool who grifts and spread his, uh, his, his ideas, right? So even on this panel, we've talked about how the media is a monolith, right? The media does this. The media does that. It's a perfect like uh, parrot of Trump's talking points. The media is this. The media is that. But we've already come to this nuanced conclusion that, hey, the media isn't this conglomerate, right? So when we get to figures like Trump, who necessarily devalue what the press is, what media is, uh, this is a harmful aspect to our basic institutions. For example, I think Turk brought this up, but yes, sometimes science is wrong. But when you have people like Trump who purposely just ignore people in his, in his administration that are acknowledging and telling him of what's actually going on and he chooses just to, to, to lay it off and risk almost 100,000 American lives, that's a form of misinformation and distrust that I can't accept. I think this is really harmful. He ignores it. And we see it around the world at this point, right? Like exporting this to a certain extent, even if people like Obama called Fox News fake news, it's not nearly to the extent that Trump has done. And we can see it spreading across the world. 
honestly, and I would, I think everyone else here would agree is I don't want the state president Trump or the next president to be the source of uh, uh, news for millions of Americans. Yes. A lot of Americans are stupid. I'm not going to, I have to be honest. And that's probably why we shouldn't have a president who spreads misinformation and risks potentially millions of lives. And next I am going, yeah. to, next I'm going to throw it over to Brenton. Hey guys, thank you very much. And thank you, uh, by the way, for correcting me on the Eugene Debs. Uh, it was 6%. I looked that up. Still, that's a ridiculously huge percentage. That's more than Gary Johnson got in the last vote. And that was with two historically unliked uh, candidates going up against him. Uh, so a huge advantage for third parties there. 910,000 uh, people voted for him. So my point is that it was sizable, but I'm sorry, I got the actual numbers wrong. Now, as far as uh, the media itself, I, I think it's absolutely ridiculous to say that um, conservative, that it has a liberal bias. Fox News is still the media, the most watched network. Tucker Carlson is the most watched cable news show of all time. So to say that um, the media has this left-wing bias is to ignore literally 100% of the right-wing sources. Um, and finally, I think what I'll just uh, end with is I wanted to say how ridiculous it is to accuse the people on the left here, including myself, of not holding the liberal media to account when they lie. I began this um, stream by talking about Michael Bloomberg, the liberal uh, candidate for president, um, like one of the liberal candidates for president this last time around, getting the okay from the head of the New York Times that he would take his side no matter what when he raided Zuccotti Park. And again, we, we, we had, I believe it was Chris Matthews, freaking out that he was going to be beheaded by Bernie Sanders. Um, so objectively, like the media has a number of biases and oftentimes reporters are trying to sell you a specific narrative for any number of reasons. But the idea that this is a left-wing narrative and must be countered by right-wing bias is just a piece of propaganda that the right-wingers use to get people to ignore sources that uh, don't agree with them and accept sources that already agree with them. I said earlier that um, projection is a product of a fascist mindset. And you know that's what I'm hearing when I hear accusations that we have not held the liberal media to task. We absolutely have. But you, know, you noticed here that the conservatives would not hold the conservative media to task, and would not hold Donald Trump to task when no. asked. None of them could answer that. I, I'm speaking now. You get to speak later. Um, so anyway, uh, in summation, I think that the media is absolutely biased, but it is biased uh, in many different ways. And uh, as far as like major mainstream media goes, it is biased towards the particular opinions and bottom lines of its uh, editorial board, its CEOs and its shareholders. And this is a problem and why we should not have for profit media at all. Hey, uh, let me check the list to see who's next. Next, it would be IPA. This will be your not only your ending statement, but also your time to drop all your links and uh, yes. profile because uh, the beast has arrived, uh, per se. Yes, I will exit and, and leave you guys to or leave you all to a, a much um, more charismatic and funny uh, person who has a way sexier voice than I do. P.S. Uh, yeah, that. I like <laughs> But we're talking there's there's Throne, like your, your, your mic is again. once again your mic is uh it I, you know what clintons have got involved that's what's going on but uh ipa <laughs> it's, <laughs> like boomer energy. it's the media they're getting it's you know what it is it's it's comcast who controls you know all of our internets right uh but does the media has a responsibility to act as a watchdog i i 100 agree with that notion it's important uh to not only um, um the american people but just the the country in general politics right um that responsibility that responsibility should be to call out when there are untruths or mistruths or anything like that uh it should not be however to just counteract it's not a scale right it's not say oh trump said something really idiotic let's say something else to, to weigh that to counteract that right um it should be to correct and tell the truth is there a liberal bias in the media right now uh i don't know because there's also a republican bias as, as a lot of people have pointed out right um are, is is the liberal bias maybe a little bit louder these days? Yeah, probably because again they're trying to just counterbalance that weight, right? Um, of all of the frankly asinine things that Trump has said. Um, 
can we really eliminate that bias ever? No, especially when eight companies control all of the media in this country. Uh, well, again, like the mainstream media, the traditional media sources. No, absolutely not. Uh, P.S. I was wrong about the Fox News thing. Uh, the Fox News Corporation formed after Disney acquired Fox itself. It kind of broke off from it. Uh, so I, I, I stand corrected on that. So. Um, and no, I don't think any of this bias is really as nefarious as some people are suggesting to say, you know, oh, they're covering up white deaths. No, they're just telling stories that get people to tune in to watch their ads, to click on their links. And that's where the money goes. Right. Um, so, yeah. Does it exist? Yes. Is it maybe a little louder from the left? Yes. Uh, but it exists on both sides. OK. Uh, uh, would you like to shout yourself out before uh, you head uh, up? Yeah, I, uh, Dylan, I appreciate you having me on again. This is the second time, what, this week that I've been on here. So um, I appreciate that. Um, if you if you want to hear more of my rambling nonsense, uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash IPA underscore lot. Uh, like I said, I do Mondays. I do D&D with a couple other uh, Twitch politics streamers here. Uh, Sushi, Tiberius, uh, Endernax, RGB, and Spe Spectre of Syndicalism. Uh, Wednesdays, my wife and I do uh, marriage and family stuff. We talk about our relationship, raising kids. Uh, we do, you know, like AMA uh, relationship advice. Uh, I would like to, if anyone out there wants to do this, I would love to rate people's dating apps or uh, profiles. Uh, we were talking about, we actually <laughs> created a fake one the other week, just because we were kind of examining the questions and do they attract the kind of people that you're trying to attract? Or are you answering the questions in a way that work like that? Um, I would love to do that. If anyone wants to volunteer to do that with me on stream, I would love to send me a message. So, yeah. Thanks thank, again. Thank I'm out to join you for that D&D, uh, &D, bro. Right on. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you uh, coming in last second to save the show. Uh, and now we're we have Wake the Beast who has made an entrance. Uh, we're about to start the next topic. Wake, uh, would you like to do a quick intro before we go into the next topic? Certainly. And again, um, Dylan, thank you very much for your invitation and for your patience in waiting for me to arrive. What I would like to say is historically, you could say that America itself is a little left leaning. Let's not forget that this is a country that was founded on the flames of rebellion. We stood up to King George and said these states ought to be free, or at least that's what Henry Lee said. I motioned that these states be free. By doing this, he was committing high treason, which made him liable to be hanged. And can you imagine what would have happened if no one else seconded that motion and, and it was just Henry Lee by himself committing that act of sedition against his king? But of course, other people did second him. But I think that today, it's a little oversimplifying to say that the media is left-leaning. Personally, I don't think that left and right do much to distinguish individuals, but it is a lot more effective to think of people as advocates of their various theoretical sociological viewpoints, okay? And one of the most popular ones is the conflict perspective. This is the outlook of those who feel that the world is divided up into groups of people who are in competition over limited resources and power. This is how they see the world. And I think that if there is a bias or an audience that the media plays to, it's these individuals, because everything the media says tends to be us versus them. If someone else is winning, it's at your expense. If you're losing, it's because of someone else's actions. And these individuals who may not necessarily be left leaning, some of them can be conservative, but if they have the conflict perspective, they're going to latch on to this. They're going to go out into the media, excuse me, into the public and repeat these ideas, which essentially equates to free advertising for the advertisers who advertise on those stations. That's my take on it. Wonderful. I'm happy um, to have you on, can, Wake. Uh, before we move on, can, can I just, uh, I'm sorry, you can go ahead and say what you want, but I was just hoping that I could interject something that I was going to say at the top because uh, I, I wanted to sort of uh, do a little shout to Wake the Beast now that he's here. Okay, you want to okay call him out what what do you what do you i i just wanted to say um mr beast um or what, what what do you prefer being called whatever you call me i'm the same person but some okay. people call me wake some people call me beast okay would, okay like well, well mr beast last week mm -hmm. i believe that you told my friend jangles that he has the soul of a cat and uh, i just want to say i think you blew your metaphor wad a little prematurely um, I do indeed have the soul of a cat, and we are a fierce but noble race, 
And my cat soul indeed carries the DNA of my ancient ancestors, like the saber toothed tiger, uh, the smilodon populator, the, the most gargantuan feline to ever job. roam the earth. Uh, lo look it up on Google, it's pretty cool. So I just don't want any besmirching of cats here tonight, or um, I don't know, I'll eat you like a tasty manwich. So that being just said. To just to correct you, it wasn't last week. And your friend and yourself don't have the soul of a cat. You have the heart of a cat. I Okay. Damn. Yeah. Well. Yes. Um, yes. By the I, way, I, I, since I got muted like early on, me. did I, and that, could I and do another cat introduction? And that heart is uh, fierce and strong. I, I do want another introduction. What do you mean? For what? Like a, just a quick introduction since mine didn't get read and then you guys never came back to me. Did you, did you not do an outro? Uh, I did an outro, but no, like at the beginning when like we were introducing ourselves. Remember, my my mic wasn't working right, and people couldn't hear like my background or who I was. Um, sure. I, I do want to say though uh, that the more interruptions we have, the least likely we're going to be able to get to the third topic. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go very very quickly. Okay. Um, so for those of you who do not know me and are wondering who this guy is, uh, my name is Brenton Lengel. I do a lot of debates on modern day debate. Uh, I am a playwright, poet, uh, Appalachian Trail 2000 miler, and uh, I'm the author of Snow White Zombie Apocalypse, uh, which has not been nominated for two Ringo Awards. Uh, check out my uh, YouTube channel where I talk about uh, philosophy, anarchism, Buddhism, politics, religion, all that wonderful stuff. Um, I think you did intro that. Yeah, you talked about how you're a I comic did? book author and that you, this is, it's now shipping oh, I, out. And yeah. Okay, I, I, my mistake then. Line, he okay. didn't get in. Anyway. Okay. Oh, I see. I didn't know how much had been cut out. I apologize. Okay. Well, I didn't catch the title of the book. I'm sorry. And and Dylan, I'm good to go whenever. Mm -hmm. So, you, just just so you know. 